Now, hear me. The Lord is doing something new in all of us. Behold, I do a new thing. Do you not perceive it? Can't you see what I'm trying to show you? I don't usually say this, but there were four distinct stationed angelic forces, more than one angel, four different groupings in this room. And I'm sure in the Miracle Center there were others and in the other places. And we're being commissioned some way for the new. So this is a different season, a different time. And in the midst of it, we're just, I feel like we're absorbing something into us. And I've heard people, reports from key people on the web about how the Spirit of God It's just permeating through and into the places they are. And Lord, I want to thank you for bringing us together. I want to thank you for each gift you have gathered here. Tell somebody I like this cluster. It's just the beginning of a whole new year ahead for us as we experience so many things and the people that have come. Let's thank the Lord for all the voices that he's brought to us to encourage us. Everyone has just been amazing. And tonight, one of the blessings I had at the beginning of this year was to meet a dear couple in Burleson that uh, I knew of, but I had never been able to really be with them. And it's just been a real joy. The moment I got there at the convention center in Fort Worth, I just knew this was a, a, a tribe of people that were just, had the heart that God was expressing. Many of you know Uh, Troy Brewer, many of you have heard him. His wonderful wife is here, and I'm going to have him introduce her and his team that's with him. And when I I got to know them, the things they're doing throughout the earth to help individuals find freedom are just amazing. I came back and I, I told our board, I said, we're supporting that group. And so a portion of everything you give each month goes into what they do. It's just a joy for them to be a part of us. You've seen Troy a lot on Daystar, and uh, his message is just powerful. It's incredible. Uh, Their ministry is incredible. And I'm going to have him tell you about whatever he wants to tell you about. He carries such a word from the Lord for the new ahead. And I want you to stand and welcome Troy Brewer as he comes and ministers to us. This last year, we've had to learn a whole new layer as to what it means to actually be brave. And we've had to trust God in an incredible new way. And I remember whenever at the beginning of the year, as we began to seek the Lord and say, God, what are you speaking for this year? Because we always fast and pray 10 days, and we always go after God, and we knew we were going to have our very first stadium event, and we knew that Chuck Pierce was going to be there. And we're like, oh my gosh, and and Patricia King, and Jamie Galloway, and Rabbi Jason Sobo, and all these crazy people. And I'm like, oh my, I didn't care if I got up and gave a word or not. I just wanted to play lead guitar in the Tarrant County Convention Center. And I did. And I rocked your face off in that place. But 
but in all, just, just being, I just want to be so real and just tell you, I have been so excited my whole life for the year 2020 to show up. As soon as I began to seek the Lord and cry out to God in an incredible way, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me and told me, he said, Troy, keep your eye on the year 2020. And I've had that phrase, keep your eye on the year 2020. Now, we know that 20 is a number, you know, 2020 means perfect vision. And I'm like, oh, that's, that's kind of cool. That's a cool thing to say. And then I also know that the, that the number 20 is one of the layers of revelation concerning the number 20 is a number that represents expectancy throughout the word of God. And expectancy is a lot like currency to prophetic people. It's not expectation. It's expectancy. So, yeah, I don't know exactly what's going to happen, but I know God's good, and I know goodness is going to show up, and it's going to be awesome. And that you live in constant awareness and hopeful expect, expectancy of God's goodness to be made manifest. And, oh, I would have fainted had I not seen, had I not believed I would see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I wouldn't have made it, but I had expectancy. I had a big 20. That's what I had. All the way through the Word of God, you see that. The, the Ark of the Covenant waited there for 20 years, and then it finally happened. You see, oh, you see all these things where people had to wait and wait and wait, and then it finally happened at the 20. And I said, I, I've, been, I've been claiming and proclaiming for as long as I've been saved since I was 19 years old, and I'm 53 now, that, man, I can't wait till 2020. Oh, my God, I can't wait. Then 2020 happened, and I went, gang, gang, gang. <laughs> But actually, I did not do that. I have not enjoyed this year in, as far as the things that the world has brought to me any more than you have. We've all had our challenges, but I knew what the word of God was. I knew what it was. And it was when everybody else says, no, 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 God says, go, go, go. That we've entered into a new wineskin, a whole new era. And you know what? You're not going to be able to do things the way you used to do. And if you try, you're going to be fighting for what no longer matters. And you better pick up the right fight, and you better not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. We got up and we gave that word, and I was like, I ain't scared. God told me in January, I want you to do a hashtag. Hashtag, I ain't scared. And we did that. I didn't actually think I was going to face anything difficult. (laughs) I have to tell you that at the beginning of the year, whenever Brother Chuck got up, At our New Beginnings Conference, he got up and he said something absolutely remarkable. And in the midst of this prophetic move of God, I have to just tell you that it was January the 18th in the year 2020. And Brother Chuck got up and he gave this amazing word. And I don't know if you've seen it or not, but it's incredible. But there is one sentence in the midst of what he was saying that flew off the stage and hit me in the face, and I was just like, whoa. And Brother Chuck, just in the midst of talking the talk that he was talking and giving his prophetic word for the year to come, he said this, there is a plague-like fear that is coming against the church, and it's going to cause us to change our wineskins. Now, he said that on January the 18th of the year 2020. And if you do a little Google search and say, When did the plague enter into the United States? It'll show you January the 18th in the year 2020. That at the time that Brother Chuck was in downtown Fort Worth, Texas, a fortress of worth, prophetically speaking, that while he was there declaring this word, maybe to the very minute they were discovering the very first case of the coronavirus here within the United States. And if there is any doubt to you in any way whatsoever that this plague was sent to come against and to offer opposition and to bring an anti-Christ spirit that is always seeking to change the times and get us out of sync with the Word of God. If, there's, if you're not sure that that thing was sent from China into the United States to get us out of sync and that it was anti-Christ and against king and kingdom, you need to look at where the first case was discovered on January the 18th of 2020 and it's King County, Washington. Went straight towards the kingdom people. 
And I look at this, and then I look at the whole year. Guys, and this year has been like a blur to me. There's been so much, and there's actually been benefits, as you very well know, of some of the things. We work, we work, we work tirelessly against sexual trafficking, and I can tell you that international sexual trafficking was shut down for months this year. Just shut down. And as a matter of fact, we were able to do incredible things because a lot of these children that we're watching and monitoring we can't go in and bust the, the brothel where they are farming these children out because we don't know where all of them are. And whenever you bust it, you have to catch all the kids at one time or terrible things could happen to those children. But they've all been quarantined this year. So we've just been busting them and busting them and busting them and busting them. And the Spirit of the Lord has been coming in and doing amazing things. Just last week... We, caught, we actually rescued three little boys and four little girls. And guys, are you guys ready for this? We arrested the seven American traffickers that had gone to Southeast Asia to harm those children. And those guys are busted. This is the year of the decade of the pay where we have to open up our mouth and we have to speak incredible things. And as soon as we declared it's the, it's the year of the pay and the decade of the pay, the mouth, the lion roaring, the whole world said, cover your mouth. Worldwide. All over the planet Earth. As soon as we declared... The breath of God is moving forward. We heard out the cry all over the world, I can't breathe. I tell you this, that God Almighty is wanting us to live according to a different spirit than the world and to not be caught up in the things of the world. I know that, I know that, I know, you know, last year at the beginning of the year, here at 2020, we were saying, hey, you need to know that since it's the 80th year that we're, we're entering into a time of where it's important that we are thermostats and we are not thermometers because the 80th element is mercury. What are you? You going to be a thermometer or are you going to be a thermostat? You going to walk in a room and everybody else is freaked out, so you get freaked out or you going to walk in a room and change the temperature? And say, as for me and my house, I'm going to serve the Lord. And that ain't the way it's going with me. That might be the way it's going with you, but that's your choice. My choice is to serve God Almighty and be caught up in the Spirit of God and to bear the fruit of the Holy Ghost.